Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alistair and this is Plant Based Logic. Okay, so my last video, I went through my 10 year vegan deterioration. So if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely click it here and watch that one first. I thought, what would be a good follow up from my vegan deterioration? I thought, well, how about we go through my blood work? Almost 11 years eating nothing but plants. Let's see what my blood's doing because, you know, if you listen to all those anti vegans out there, they'll tell you that your blood runs into tar and you deteriorate and you die. Get no iron and your B12 levels will be low and you'll just be like a walking, talking pile of goop on the ground. But unfortunately for them, it's not true. And I've got the paperwork to show it. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go through my blood work. I like to get my bloods tested twice a year and I like to get them done in the off season. So in Australia right now, we're coming out of winter, coming into springtime. So seeing I've been hibernating for the winter months, I like to get my bloods tested uh, just coming out of winter and I get them just coming out of summer as well. So I can kind of get a fair indication where I'm at. And I'll definitely do a follow up to this when we come out of summer as well. So you'll be able to see the difference. So we can check my winter bloods and my summer bloods and then get a fair idea. Now, if I was a good YouTuber and I'm not, I would save all the best and juicy bits for last. But do you know what? I'm just gonna do the juicy bits first. And if you wanna watch to the end, please do. But let's go through some of the juicy ones first. Anyway, straight into it. First level is my B12. So B12 is the one that everybody seems to be worried about. I take a B12 supplement kind of semi-regularly. I have a lot of foods that I eat that are supplemented with B12. So I'm not super strict on it. Probably could be more strict on it, but my levels are pretty good. So my B12 levels are 232. Now the reference range is between 120 and 600. So that 232 is my B12 stores. And then you've also got my active levels. So my active levels are 58.2. So the reference range is anything over 35 is good. So yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Almost double the lower end of the reference range. I'm happy. So the next level we're gonna look at is my vitamin D. Now, I don't actually take vitamin D supplement and it's been winter, as you can tell by my nice white complexion as I start getting back out into the sun now. But my vitamin D level is 77 and the reference range is between 50 and 150. So at 77, I'm on the lower end of normal. My From my last test, my last vitamin D levels were really, really high actually as I came out of summer. So I'm not too worried about this. This is a typical measurement for me coming out of winter. So I'll definitely do a follow-up video to this when I get my bloods done in six months time. So another level that vegans get accused of a lot, usually females tend to struggle with this one, but iron. So my iron level is at 20 and the reference range is between 12 and 31. So I'm really happy with that. So we've got the transferrin and transferrin saturation, both within the normal reference range there. And then we have ferritin. So my ferritin levels are 110. The reference range is between 20 and 250. I'm really happy. My ferritin levels have always sort of stayed around the same and my iron levels are exactly the same. So I'm really happy with those. They haven't gone up, they haven't gone down. Happy. Okay, the next one, I am a soy boy. So we're gonna have to look at my testosterone levels. So my testosterone, uh, the reference range is between 10 and 35. I'm at 20, I'm happy with that. Uh, my free testosterone, anything over 200 is good. I'm at 380. Now normally I'm over about that 440, 450. In the summertime, winter time, it tends to drop a little bit. Uh, so at 380, that's about right around this time of year. All my levels here are well within the reference range and I feel good, so that's great. So they're really the main ones. Uh, I got them out first. Let's have a look at some of the ones that I'm really happy with that they're all in reference range. So my sodium and potassium, all within the reference range. My calcium and magnesium, all good. So my total protein is 73, so the reference range between 65 and 87, so I'm happy with that. And my cholesterol level is 3.8. It has been a 3.8 pretty much my whole way through my plant-based journey. So 3.8, I'm happy with that. Uh, I mean, at my age, I'm, I'm happy with a 3.8. I don't know what the conversion is. That's in Australia, we use um, Mmol. Uh, I don't know what the conversion is to overseas, but the reference range is between 2.6 and 5.5. And one of the last tests I got is I got an iodine test just to make sure I was getting enough iodine. I've never liked seafood and I don't like sea vegetables. So I do take an iodine supplement. So I went and got my T levels checked as well. So my TSH was 1.39, was between the reference range. My free T4 and free T3 were both well within the reference range. I'm happy with my thyroid function. So that's great news as well. So there there we go. I didn't want to go through every single figure there, but if you've got any questions or if there's anything you want me to go get checked, hey, listen, I'm happy to be your guinea pig. If you want to send me to the doctors and say, hey, get this checked, this checked, this checked, I'm happy to do that as well. But generally speaking, after almost 11 years of eating nothing but plants, my body is handling it very, very well. Uh, I found a really good balance between sort of 80% good, healthy, whole foods and 20% just 
eating some vegan junk food. I feel like it's kind of nice. I definitely feel less stressed about my food anyway. I love getting my bloods done twice a year. It gives me that little bit of peace of mind and I know it's only a snapshot in time, but hey, if you've got any questions or if there's anything else you wanna know about my bloods, just leave a comment below and I will reply. Anyway, I'm healthy, happy, almost 11 years eating nothing but plants. If you haven't seen my vegan deterioration video, go check that one out. My name's Alistair, this is Plant Based Logic and until next time, bye for now.